Okay, guys, today at Two Day Pass, you've joined me back. We're on number five now, and at number seven, we had moving off control, and we talked about the retro cars, also called manual, and how people fail for control. Now, I did mention it might come back. Number five, move off safely. So at the moment, there isn't anywhere I can pull up, really. I've got double yellow lines here. I'm not supposed to pull up. Am I allowed to pull up on zigzag lines? No. Why are zigzag lines there? I'm leaving the gap here for the vehicles that could turn into this road because of the traffic. That's very important to know. Why would people, when I can pull over somewhere, why would people fail for move off safely? What exactly does that mean? I'm going straight on. This will take me to Rainer's Lane. Checking the vehicles on the right to make sure there's a gap in the traffic. Would I walk out? Yes. Now's the time to drive out. I'm going second exit straight ahead. Keep to the left lane. Mirror, mirror, signal at the first exit. Keep the signal on until I exit. Check the traffic on the right, which loves to overtake you on the exit and then cut you up. Make sure you know about this traffic before exiting. That way you can have a good heads up, yeah? That's the key to a safe, experienced driver. They're aware of these other vehicles always around. And that actually ties in quite nicely to the number five that we're on now, moving off safely. So before we move off, you know what, guys? I'm not even going to pull over, to be honest. I'm just going to keep going. There's a few very important things I need to talk about on this road. So just to quickly summarize, before you move off, Make sure you check all the way around the vehicle. Check your least dangerous side first, most commonly the left side or what's known as pedestrian side, least dangerous, to the most dangerous side last, looking over out the back, usually the back right, because this is where the traffic is, that's the most dangerous side. Do this literally a second or two before moving off. If you wanna have another double blind spot check, excellent, good habit. Rainer's Lane is the route we're on. This is a roundabout where everybody will fail, unless you know it. Look at the road markings. I'm going straight. What lane do I use? Why did I use the right lane? Because the left lane had a left only arrow. If I use the left lane and go straight, we're coming back to, and I didn't mention this, but we're coming up to number nine on the list. Response to road markings. So actually, I would say that's the number one reason why people fail for road markings next to giveaway lines. More people will see giveaway lines and slow down and stop if necessary and give way than people will see a left only arrow. This isn't only at roundabouts, this can be at crossroads, at any kind of a junction. If there's a left only arrow and you don't follow the left only arrow, you will fail for response to road markings. So don't hesitate about following the left only arrow, that's fine. Do the same procedure here, regardless of road markings. This is just a general inside knowledge about Rainer's Lane and Greenford driving test route following the signs to Rainer's Lane. The right lane will give you a more direct path on that roundabout. And every single time I've been to that roundabout, and we're talking about 10 years now, never seen anybody go straight in the left lane okay so it's fairly safe but again like i mentioned on the previous roundabout uh, the bigger one make sure you check to see if there's other vehicles around you that are exiting we're coming back to the left only arrow here so i said don't hesitate to follow the left only lane so if it's a left only and examiners ask you to go straight don't let the examiners force you into going straight they're not supposed to 
give you last minute directions. And if you ask an examiner last minute, where am I going? They'll generally not answer you because it's not a safe environment to suddenly change direction. Sudden change of direction or speed is when accidents are more likely to happen. So for these reasons, it's totally safe and necessary for you to then follow the arrow and turn left regardless of the sat-nav or the examiners asking you to follow the road ahead. We talked earlier about the filter arrow and people failing for junctions, traffic lights, or response to signs, traffic lights, give way lines here. I'm checking regardless of the filter light, there's give way lines, I've done my observations. Guys, you can see how many things there are to come up. We've now completed number five. If this video has been of value and you haven't hit the thumbs up button, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because you'll be getting more, more, more videos from me and you're probably tired of seeing me, but if you're not, please subscribe. And we're moving on to number four now. So why don't you go check out this video here and this will come and cover number four.